Two spots left. Number nine, India. 22-year-old Laura Dada is a model and spokesperson. Rocky Mountains. India! India's Laura Dutta is a model with a degree in economics, but what she really wants to do is direct documentaries on wildlife and different cultures. She also loves to whitewater raft, climb rocks, and trek the Himalayas. De La Renta swimsuit competition, which comes with a $2,500 modeling contract from Authentic Fitness, is India. Oh my gosh, you know, she Julie, was stunning. She was. She just has a presence about her on that stage. Very elegant. When she's on stage, I cannot take my eyes off of her. She just captures everything around she's her. She's beautiful. Look, it is so close. Oh my goodness, it certainly is. Now look, notice, India, beautiful girl, Venezuela, very tall, very statuesque, look great in her swimsuit. And Bad in our next delegate. All right, India. Oh, you're from a family of pilots. But say your goal is to, you know, you want to jump from a plane. <laughs> Are the pilots in your family that bad? <laughs> um, well, not really. My father and my sister are both pilots, but I guess I've clocked in so many miles sitting behind flying as a passenger that I guess it's time that I jumped out. <laughs> That's something I've always wanted to do, skydive. All right. Now, India has had some very prominent female leaders. What makes women politicians different from men? I think what makes women politicians different from men is a certain amount of sensitivity. Um, I think the women are very strong in India, they're very well educated, those who are educated. And um, they're standing shoulder to shoulder with their men and making a mark in their own field. You've been trained in a very uh, particular classical Indian dance. You knew this was coming. Help me pronounce it and show us a few steps. Uh, well, it's called Bharat Natyam. I can't do it in this gown because I need to squat to dance. <laughs> but it's um, about fitting into a universe which is square and your center of gravity, therefore you squat, so your center of gravity is lower. And a few steps, well, it goes with your hands. This is Pataka, that is Tripataka, and that is Padma. Well, thank you, India. Thank you. You may take your mark. This 
girl blows me away. Completely Jilly blows me away. She's absolutely breathtaking, and she really seems to have it all together. And the thing is, she's so calm. She just exudes calmness Grace out there. Grace under pressure, I think it's called. I and think she if, has it. if she were running for office, I'd vote for her. You just the voice believe is unbelievable. Yeah, believe everything she said. <laughs> all right, let's go back to Sinbad. All right, here we go in random order. The final three are... Spain! Number two, Venezuela! And the final spot goes to India! cheating up here, I but know. I, I, I just... I'm impressed. Yeah, we got all three things <laughs> right. <laughs> we did. You know, I think India, if I have to make a prediction, she's so classy, she's so calm, she is going to be the gal to beat. I really think so. You know India, same question, same amount of time. All right. Got your fan club. Here's your final question. Right now, there's a protest going on right outside here calling the Miss Universe pageant disrespectful of women. Convince them that they're wrong. I think pageants. I think pageants like the Miss Universe pageant gives us young women a platform to foray into the fields that we want to and forge ahead, be it entrepreneurship, be it the armed forces, be it politics. It gives us a platform to voice our choices and opinions and makes us strong independent that we are today. Thank you. Thank you, India. Once again, our three finalists. Spain! Spain! Well, she answered in Spanish. She took the initiative to do that. I do not think the interpreter gave her her due. Venezuela! Uh, yes, it was. She wanted everyone to know that this is a complete woman, not just a beautiful right. woman. I think she did struggle with the English, but I do appreciate her answer. India! You know, I didn't have much to say about the other girls, but this girl I really had to stand behind. When she grabbed that microphone from Sinbad, she, she pulled in the audience with look, her bean. Her she presses. knows. She knows that she handled it so, so well. When we come back, one golden apple, one crown, one woman. Who will it be? And now, the new Miss Universe and her royal court. Thanks to Mark Ward of the accounting firm of Ernst & Young, who has verified the results. We'll begin with the second runner-up. The second runner-up is Spain! <laughs> and for any reason, right here, ladies. And for any reason the winner cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take over. Tonight's first runner-up Venezuela and the new Miss Universe 2000 is India. Go ahead and take your walk. Everybody, thanks 
And a big thanks to the folks in the Cypress for making us feel right at home here.